Hi, this is Teacher Maria of the Cuse Academy. So today, our topic is all about properties of matter, combustibility and flammability. So by the end of the lesson, we'll be able to define combustibility and flammability, identify examples of combustible and flammable materials. So matter has various properties that determine how it behaves under different conditions. So, so today, we will learn about two important properties, combustibility and flammability. Combustibility, the ability of a material to catch fire and burn. Combustible materials can ignite and sustain a fire when exposed to a heat source. And flammability, the ability of a material to catch fire easily and burn rapidly. Take note of the word catch fire easily and burn rapidly. And flammable materials ignite at lower temperature and burn faster than combustible materials. So here, let's um, dig it deeper. A combustible material is something that can catch fire and burn but usually needs a lot of heat or strong flame to get started. So imagine you have a big log in a campfire. It takes some time and a strong fire to make it burn, but once, once it starts, it will keep burning for a long time. So that is a combustible material, okay? But the flammable material is something that catches fire really easily, even without just a small spark or a tiny flame. It burns very quickly and can be dangerous if not handled carefully. So take note of the word catch fire really easily, even with just small part or tiny flame. Very quickly, huh? Be and very dangerous if not handled carefully. So imagine lighting a match and how quickly it burst into flames. Flammable materials are like that. Are like that. They catch fire fast and burn quickly. So I hope you got it already. So now these are the examples of combustible material materials: wood, paper like newspapers, books, coal. We have fabric like clothing, curtains, and other textiles. Cardboard or um, cartoons, leaves and dry grass. We have rubber and also cork or plastic. We have plastics. We have cork. And uh, those are the examples of combustible materials. And flammable materials like gasoline, it, ignite, it ignites fire, alcohol, propane, acetone, or a natural gas, natural gas, acetone, paint thinner, kerosene, butane, cooking oil. Yes, cooking oil is a flammable material. Hairspray, ethanol, methane. Those are the examples of flammable materials. They ignite, ignite fire, okay? So I hope you learned something new today. So we have also um, quizzes, multiple choices, okay? And we have also um, true or false and matching time lesson to ponder as stewards of god's creation we are entrusted with the care of our environment and resources this includes using and disposing of combustible and flammable materials responsibly to protect our surroundings the earth remember the earth is the lord's and everything in it the world and all who live in it. Psalm 24 verse 1. 
recognizing that everything belongs to God reminds us to be careful and considerate in our actions. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what will be our next topic. And don't forget to share this to your friends. Once again, this is Teacher Maria of the Cues Academy.